Hi, my name's Johnny, and today I am unboxing this absolute beast that is in here. Well, as I'm hoping it's going to be an absolute beast in the best way, of course. Let's just do exactly that. So, this has come from the lovely folk at a oh, Guitar Guitar, which is a UK music retailer and the official distributor for G and L. G and L was obviously Leo, one of Leo Fender's projects uh, after he left Fender, so it should have all the recipe, all the great ingredients that Fender has, but uh, modernised a bit more. You know. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh dear, the box is gone. All right. Oh. Now we've got some tools. It's packaged very well. Big fan. Dirty. Oh gosh. This room is just full of boxes nowadays. Ah. Okay, right, so, what for that? This thing feels good. It doesn't feel like it's got a neck dive. This is my first ever GNL as well, even touching one, I think. So, I'm very excited. Do you know what? I didn't expect it to be matte. Look at that, that's a stunner. That looks so much cooler in person, I think. Really nice. So this is the, this is the SB2 from GNL in the Tribute series. So the Tribute is their Indonesian made models. Um, and I can't remember whether these are just crafted in Indonesia or if they're American parts and just put together in Indonesia. It's very dusty. But that neck feels really nice. No gloss finish in sight. It feels a little bit, there's some rough edges around the headstock up here on the signature GNL what, finger rest so you can pick it up, I guess. <laughs> weird design that isn't for everyone, but actually, I, I don't mind it, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, feels really nice. Let's, uh, let's give it a bit of a play. This thing feels fantastic. The fret job, like if we're comparing, like if we're going to compare this to anything, it needs to be compared to the Squire um, Classic Five range because this is an Indonesian-made bass. It's in a similar price range, a little bit more expensive, but it's not too different. Now, based on my first impressions, this is this is a step up. The neck, oh man, the fret job is impeccable. I really like the big dog inlays as well. They really remind me of a music man. I cannot wait to plug this thing in. Hear what it sounds like. Let me know in the comment down below if you're looking forward to seeing the full review on this bass. Uh, and hopefully I'll have it out soon for you. I've got a couple of other videos, uh, some pedals and stuff I want to get through as well. So I'm not 100% sure when this one will be released, but it will be very soon. And make sure you're subscribed with notifications on on that bell so that you get alerted for when new videos come online. Once again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.